Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions, and today we are doing Ask Me Anything. And if you saw one of our videos a few weeks ago, I was asking my really good friend Joe Tito to step in and answer your guys' questions about jobs and different information technology questions regarding programming and application development and some really cool things like that that I was not comfortable answering. So I'm really happy and excited to finally uh, bring in Joe and he's going to answer your questions for you. So take it away Joe, thank you so much for being here to answer everybody's questions. I greatly, greatly appreciate it so much. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Joe Tito. Zach asked me to come on his channel to help answer some of the programming software development questions that you guys have been asking him recently. I've been developing websites and writing software ever since I was 13. Um, Zach actually taught me <laughs> how to build websites in his basement when we were kids. I've been, since then, I've been building websites and writing software professionally for about 10 years or so now. And I'm actually the CTO of a new company called Adinia that helps people find local in-person classes. That's really awesome. And, and I'm sure Zach will link to it in the show notes. So we have a bunch of really cool questions related to programming, software development. So let's just get started. The first question comes from In The Court on YouTube. And his question is, hey, what motivates you to program Joe? What are some tips and some tips to keep it engaging for you? Um, I'm motivate, motivated to program because I absolutely love building things. Um, I've been fascinated by the concept of the internet and the fact that things that I essentially type with my fingers um, can reach millions of people all over the world. Um, and I guess it's that thought that kind of keeps me going, per se. Um, I've, also, I'm, I've also always wanted to... Um, own my own company, so that's another big motivating factor. Um, one of the cool things about programming is you don't really need anything, right? It's totally free, you can do it at home, you just need a computer, access to the internet, um, and it's really something anybody can do. And I'm trying to make a life and a business out of it. Um, so that's one of the big things that motivates me is being able to be my own boss, work from home, and own my own company. Next question comes from Robin Lecky, sorry if I pronounced her last name wrong. Um, what programming languages do you actually use? What are your favorites? And does programming in general guarantee a high salary? Um, so let's break these up. First question is, what programming languages do I use and which are my favorite? Um, in school and on the side, I've messed with a whole ton of programming languages. Um, I've been taught C++, Java, assembler language, um, COBOL, Python, um, PHP, and probably a bunch of others that I can't remember. Um, personally, my favorites are PHP and Java. Um, my nine to five software development job requires Java, so that's what I do from, for most of the day. And all of the side projects I've ever built are in PHP which is by far my favorite. Um, I think it's just really easy to learn, really easy to pick up, and I love that you don't have to compile it. <laughs> so it's really easy and quick to learn. Uh, the next question, does programming in general guarantee a high salary? No. <laughs> um, it, it is very possible to get paid handsomely for programming, uh, but it's certainly not guaranteed. Um, and I think some of the things that determine whether you get paid not paid well or not as a uh, software developer, um, one of them is just how good you are. Like if you're a good software developer, you're obviously going to advance further in your career and have more opportunities available to you. Um, another big thing that influences salary with software development is where you're located. Um, the cost of living um, has a lot of influence on salaries. So the salary that I made living in Chicago is wildly different than the salary I make living out here in Baltimore. I guess another thing that <clears throat> impacts salary is the type of field you go into in programming. 
Um, if you work for a startup per se, um, the startups typically pay higher salaries and um, larger companies. So that's another thing that impacts salary. Another user asked how much math is involved in programming positions. Um, <laughs> that's a funny one because I hate math. I think this totally depends. If you're going to school for software development, you're definitely going to do a lot of math, um, discrete mathematics, basic algebra, some calculus. <clears throat> but how much you use that in your career is totally up to you. So I, I learned a lot of math in college, um, but I don't use it um, since I'm a web developer and it doesn't require it. Uh, however, there are a lot of jobs out there um, that do require math. So if you're a software developer working in the financial industry or you want to build rocket or help build rockets for NASA, um, obviously it's, you're going to do a lot of math. Um, so how much math is required is pretty much up to you. Do you have any tips for programming interviews? Uh, this is actually a fun one to talk about. I have I haven't switched jobs too often in my career, so I haven't been I haven't been through too many interviews, but I can give you a good idea of what the things you're going to expect. The first thing is you're going to be expected to write some sort of pseudocode. Um, if you don't know what pseudocode is, it's basically like coding in plain English without actually knowing the syntax of the language. <clears throat> Most companies that do interviews don't always expect you to know the languages that they're using per se. Um, some companies let you learn on the job. So they'll ask you to write, you know, basic things in pseudocode, like how do you traverse a folder of directories and files and print out all of its contents, like write basic English steps, how you would accomplish that. Um, I've had similar questions like that in just about every interview I've done. Next question. I kind of wrote this one because I thought you guys would be interested in it. Um, do you need certifications to get a programming job? Um, the answer to that is it depends. Um, so it really depends on what kind of field you're going into. Um, if you're a software developer or like a web developer, most of us don't have any certificates aside from degrees or um, practical experience. Um, there are certain fields or companies that do require certification. So if you want to do database programming, um, chances are that you'll need an Oracle database programmer certificate. Um, and a lot of like high-end Java shops do require um, Java certificates. Um, but more often than not, I don't think you need certificates. Um, I think practical work experience and school experience is really what people are looking or employers are looking for. More so practical work experience. I think the, the number one things most employers are actually looking for are how many years of experience you have in the field, the things you know, and um, like how motivated of a person you are to learn. Um, people don't, or employers don't want one trick ponies. Um, they don't want somebody who's only gonna know one thing. Um, I think what's important is, um, as a software developer is your ability to learn new things and adapt to new things and to kind of be a jack of all trades. All right, the last question. What are some ways to get started programming? I've always wanted to learn how to code but don't know where to start. Um, the best advice that I would give to someone who wanted to start programming is first off, figure out what you want to build. Um, if you say just, I want to learn how to programming, learn how to program, that's really general because there's so many programming languages out there. Um, there's so many different types of databases out there that you really need a focused attention to what you want to build, right? So if you want to build websites like I do, um, I would tell you, learn PHP, learn HTML, learn CSS, learn JavaScript. Um, but if you wanted to build enterprise applications, I would tell you learn Java. Um, so it really all depends. Um, but I think the best way to get started is to figure out what you want to do and then figure out how to do it. Um, if, you're, if you come up with a goal of what you want to do, figure out how to do it in the appropriate programming language. Um, that's really the best advice that I could give for that one. All right, I think that's 
all the questions we have for today. Um, I want to thank you guys for the opportunity to let me come on here and kind of geek out about programming languages um, and programming in general. It's what I love to do. I love talking about it. Um, if any of you guys have any other questions that I haven't answered on this video, um, put them in the comments below and I will either reply to them personally, uh, send you an email, or if there's enough questions, we'll make another video. Um, thanks guys. All right, thank you so much, Joe, for helping me out answer questions for everybody. I really do appreciate that. As you guys saw, I've known him since forever. I've known him way before since he was 13, probably since he was like eight or nine years old or something. So he's been a really good friend uh, to me for pretty much all my life as well. And I definitely helped steer him in the direction of IT. He chose to take the path of, you know, development and programming and all that fun stuff, which that's how I started and now I'm here. So uh, that that path was not for me and that was definitely for him. So Joe, I greatly appreciate you answering these questions for me and for all of you guys. So if you guys have any more questions, like he said, leave a comment below and uh, either he will get back to you or I'll get back to you or somebody will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay tuned for next week's AMA. If you guys have something lined up that you really want to ask, I'm here to answer them. This is IT Career Questions. Thank you for watching.